OMG BBG! Welcome back to another BBG unboxing. We have Pro Series for you today, and this is Tact Luinor. This is the last one that we have for this wave to unbox, and it's not too bad. This was a random booster prize, so it's pretty awesome that you can just go to your local store in North America here, grab it off the shelves, not having to hunt for this bay. Now, is it that desirable? Mm, I don't know, like having Luinor in the name kind of makes it desirable, but the tact layer overall is, it's kind of special, but kind of boring to use. Anyways, there's a lot of different things that we can talk about it, so we'll go over all of that once we actually unbox it. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. Remember that this bay is a balance type and it's a left spin bay. So of course, because you have Luinor in there, it comes with that special GT layer weight that came with this bay that was so, uh, which is LW-1010. And the energy layer shape change, that is a special ability for the tact layer. So of course, depending on like which weight you use, they'll change the positioning of all the blades and stuff. So we'll get into that later. We have DR51-P, which is 12 cross, and then PR-22, which is trans dash. Overall, the combo is really close to stock from Takeru Tomi, with the only obvious change coming from the frame itself. So this is cross instead of expand. For the stats, I don't know, man. Attack is awfully high, and I really don't think the attack stats should be that high. <laughs> it's such a round layer, so I really don't think that it should be at like whatever this is, like 10 or whatever. It should be at like a five or something, or even less. Weight is sky high. I don't remember this bay being that heavy, was it? I can't remember. But yeah, stamina's pretty low, agility's low. It is a pretty slow bay. Defense is decent. But yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this. But right before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next video. You can find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. Parts there, Tac Lunior. Dude, I took this out and I immediately had to pause because that color, like that cross is supposed to be like clear slash white. False advertisement. It's like a blue. Dude, what the heck is that? Interesting. I wonder if they just forgot to make it the right color on the box? Yeah, that was the most important part, attack. There you go. Okay, so, you know, all the abilities are still there. You know, this bay, you really see the potential once you collect more layer weights. Yeah, and of course, like, because Pro Series has been going hard on GT, you have quite a few if you've been collecting every wave. So let's take this all apart. But yeah, let's go over everything. We quickly put on the stickers as well. So here we go, all of the parts there. First up, GT chip, Luinor. So of course, this one is left spin. The dragon heads do have a few stickers on them, so it does look pretty good overall. The teeth on this one, from what I can remember, it was pretty tight, so not a bad GT chip to have. The two most important parts definitely are the tacked layer base and the so layer weight, because they work hand in hand. This layer weight overall is super tiny when you compare it to the other ones. Most of the weight is centralized and it only has two very thin metal arms that come out. Essentially, when you put in this layer weight into the tacked layer base, it'll make two of the blades expand outwards and they won't contract as much when hit. This layer pretty much gives you a reason to collect all the layer weights because technically you can change modes many different ways depending on how many layer weights you own. I feel like this was definitely the inspiration for those newer bays in BU like Kerbius, where when you change some of the DB cores, then it actually changes the way that the layer base works as well. So this was kind of like that first version, it was the 1.0 version of that gimmick. I can see why they released Tac Lunior, because Pro Series blessed us with a bunch of GT parts, so if you only collect Pro Series, you probably have a lot of these layer weights out there now. The rest of the parts, not that special. We have 12, which is a fairly old disc. We initially saw this with Winning Valkyrie back then in Turbo, so nothing new. Cross is also very old as well, so this replaced Expand from the original combo. And one thing that we noticed that is actually pretty funny is when we were going through the sticker sheet and the manual to get some shots of the code and everything like that, we noticed that the bay has photos with Expand on it and not Cross. Hasbro really just got caught slipping, man. And they have like multiple images of it too. Last but not least is Trans Dash. So this driver, pretty old, but they added that additional gold lock spring there. 
which makes it a little bit tighter. You can change modes from a stamina mode just by twisting, which basically makes the sharp tip come out. And then you can get it into a more aggressive attack mode by spinning it again and unlocking that whole flat. It is nice to have a mode change, but this driver overall though, like isn't the best for stamina and isn't the best for attack. So, I mean, you have better options out there. So before we put the whole thing together, let's show you what this energy layer base is all about. Take that so weight, put it into there. We'll just put the GT chip in there too. So you can see where the two arms are here. These blades do not go in. They are basically pushed out like that. And the rest of them, they can move a little bit more. Now, of course, if you switch out the layer weight, that is going to change the performance. So if you put in 10, for example. So there's four points in. in that one. Yep. Now these four over here, on every corner, they do not go in now. And you have two more blades that can basically still go in and out like that. So yeah, it really depends on which layer weight you want to use. And I'll change up the attributes for sure. And one more example here we have is Zan, OG. That changes it up further. Weight distribution also changes slightly. Yep. So you mainly have these two right here. A um, little bit of movement still from all four in the corners here. But yeah, there you go. So same as so in the sense that you have really just two of the blades that are locked in position now, but in totally different spots. So many ways to customize. Yeah, so that's kind of the neat part about this energy layer base. Is it, you know, that strong? Not really, but it is cool that you can get this gimmick though. So let's put together the rest of the combo. 12 cross, not 12 expand. Left spin. And yeah, pretty tight combo overall. Not How's that bad. dash driver? Really close to the stock combo from Takara Tomy. So if you guys are really hell bent on getting combos that are close to stock form, then this is one of those ones that you can consider picking up. Expand is pretty easy to get. Here's Tac Luinor in our Daily Burst app. Looking pretty good. And nice to see that they actually have the right color here as well. So it's blue. Imagine in the game, the cross frame is white <laughs> and then real life is blue. All right, time for some test battles. And yeah, I forgot to mention, you do still get this. So a left spin launcher, not a string launcher, obviously, but you have one specific that will work with your bay when you buy this product. I'm going to use the real long in this against you. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, let's rip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I win or did I lose that one? <laughs> the juke. That was sick. You won that one, actually. <laughs> Three, Three, two, one. one. As you can see, my dash driver and attack mode, and I got oh, wrecked. wrecked. Wow. My spin disappeared. Three, Three two, one. one. Let's rip. What's with these pockets? How did I win? <laughs> I put it into stamina mode. Am I still in stamina? No, it went to attack mode. That's one thing to keep in mind with the trans driver is that it can change modes mid-battle. It just transforms. Three, Three two, two, one. one. There we go. Left spin bay with that stamina tip out. Can I survive? So. No, I'm gonna equalize, come on. I'm gonna steal some of your spin. Keep going. No. Nope. Nope. Dragon takes it. Three, two, one. Whoa. Wow, look at Trans Dash go. Wow, that was so fast. <laughs> but that is why this driver is not that great. So that's it for our unboxing on the Tact Luinor Bay from Pro Series. Let us know down in the comment section what you guys think of this. Of course, we have to let you know, should you buy it, consider it, or should you just straight up avoid this one? I think you guys should mm, consider it, <laughs> consider it. It's not a must have, but because this was originally from a random booster, I do think it's worth considering because it is pretty rare to get now as well. You can tell from the test battles, it doesn't perform the best. So mainly for collector's purposes, in my opinion, that kind of goes for like almost everything GT now because Beyblade has changed so much since GT. A lot of your newer bays are obviously going to outclass this one, but 
I think for all the collectors out there, consider this one, okay? Especially if you have many of those GT weights. Exactly, yeah, so you can change up the performance of this energy layer base. So that's it, all right? Stay tuned for the next video, and as always, Geeks, geeks out! out.